So, I told you that Beethoven had a direct influence on the second piece of this program. Let me tell you a story about it. What's the largest, longest, most significant and weighty uh, trio of Beethoven? The Archduke, right? That's a plan that says it's one of the later, later works. Mighty work has a sort of Tremendous flow movement, which is so gorgeous. Uh, when I was studying with Nadia Boulanger in the summer of 1969, they had happened to have there a very fine uh, violinist, cellist, uh, and quite a few pianists. And Nadia Boulanger asked the class to, to listen to the slow movement of the Archduke. And at the end of it, she said, it is sublime. It is magnificent. It is so beautiful. And I want you to write, all of you, I want you to write a piece like this. But I want you to make it tranquil. Very quiet. Tranquil. So that was the assignment for the competition. Four of us, actually five of us, but the fifth one we'll talk about later because he was kind of writing it, didn't finish in time for the competition. But four of us wrote the uh, slow movement of a trio. And these four uh, students included Robert Schaefer, who later became the conductor of the City Chorus of Washington, D.C., and a distinguished career, studied with Nadia Boulanger for nine summers. Robert Xavier Rodriguez, who also has had a distinguished career in San Antonio, he's written several operas, including a very interesting one about Frida Kahlo. Jay Gottlieb, who became a terrific pianist and is uh, still in France, still living in Paris, making his career there. He actually, uh, he and I connected later when he was a graduate student at Harvard and I was an undergrad, which led me to believe that he's older than I. I just looked up at uh, his birth date and said 1954. That's impossible. He would have been 16 years old that summer. I don't think so. <laughs> I think he was, in fact, a little bit older than I. And the other uh, two composers were also three years older than I. So the four of us, born between 46 and 49, uh, in the summer of 69, wrote these piano trio, slow movement. And the jury the contest was Nadia Boulanger, and I believe it was Henri Dutilleux, another distinguished French composer, and um, the Cassettes were there. I mean, it was, it was a very distinguished panel that, that listened to, to the, uh, uh, the trios. That is, they listened to three of them. My trio was deemed unplayable by a cellist. Um, tried it and just turned it away. So I sat there and played the, the movement myself, all the parts of the piano. And I figured that would disqualify me from the contest. But in fact, I won first prize. Yay. Well, we <laughs> all won first prize. They didn't give four prizes, they gave four first prizes. Every one of us <laughs> had the first prize. And if you look at the biographies of each of these composers, it, it actually says that this composer won first prize in the competition that summer because we all did. <laughs> so uh, it was quite amusing. Um, the um, following year at Harvard, I decided to write movements around the piece, um, and uh, it was based on a twelve-tone row, uh, which means that uh, a, 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 each of the twelve chromatic tones is played in turn and not repeated. In, in the row and then it's played backwards and upside down. So what they did. My piece was actually a rather uh, traditional 12-tone composition, except in the middle of the third movement, the, the battle cry of the French Revolution of 19, or the students of 1968 suddenly emerges. Which you can, you can hear, hear that bump, 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 Violin sonata at one point, sort of getting work with it. Yeah, right. You'll hear that a little bit, I think. Um, so, um, <coughs> this 
was actually performed uh, at Harvard the following year, and then it was the very first piece of mine performed uh, after I joined the Long Island Composers Alliance in 1989. It was performed in South Huntington by a group from, from Austria. And this is only the third performance of the entire piece. Um, there were four movements, and uh, it's rather complicated. They're each very short, but it's so complicated that the players are not reading from a separate part. They're reading from the whole score so they can see how everything fits together. So for that reason, you'll bear with us as we take a little time in between the movements to, to set up the pages. <laughs> okay? So there, there are four short movements. Uh, the second movement is a scarecrow so in trio. Sounds almost like two movements, but it's really uh, just a second movement. So, so uh, uh, we'll, we'll do the, the, the four movements of my piano trio, uh, and then I'll tell you a little bit about some other Boulanger students. These next three pieces, actually my piece and the next two, are all music by Boulanger students. But I'll tell you more about that after we do this.